So as we saw last lesson, population is always changing. Uh, it's changed an awful lot, particularly over the last hundred years or so. But how do we measure population change? What are the key terms that we use? Just before we go into that, let's have another quick look at this, this interesting graphic here. This map shows Facebook connections throughout the world. Now, you can already see the shapes of countries um, on this graphic. But what it also shows us is population distribution, whereabouts most people are in the world. And you can see North America, Europe, parts of Asia, India, very, very crowded, lots and lots of people, lots and lots of internet users anyway. There are certain things this doesn't show us though. For instance, the billion and a half people in China who don't have access to Facebook. Um, so that's not shown on this map. But it's a very interesting way of just thinking differently about population, about where people are. Okay, so key terms that we're going to need to use uh, in the exam. Key geographical vocabulary, birth rate, death rate, population balance. You should already have in your files what these mean. Number of babies born for every thousand people, number of deaths per thousand people, and the population balance when birth rates and death rates are about equal. Remember, we measure it for every thousand people so that we can easily compare different countries. Let's take China and the UK, for instance. China, 1.5 nearly billion people. UK, 62 million people. Which country is going to have the most babies in total? Obviously, it's going to be China because it's got a lot more people. So it's not really fair to compare total births in the UK and China, which is why we measure it per thousand people of the population. So, uh, another key term that we need to know is um, population natural increase. Basically means how a population is changing because of birth rates and death rates. Now don't be fooled by the terminology. Population increase can still be a negative number. So if the death rate is higher than the birth rate, you still say population natural increase. You don't say population natural decrease, for instance. It's just one of those funny things that we just have to accept. Okay, so it's a simple sum. Birth rate minus death rate is your population natural increase. In this graphic here, birth rate is 5, death rate is 3, therefore the population natural increase is, of course, 2. Um, and there's some more examples here that we went through in the lesson. It's simple maths, really, but just remember, birth rate minus death rate. Now, the thing is, birth rates and death rates, of course, are very different in different parts of the, uh, in different countries in the world. So there are three examples here. Uh, Poland has a birth rate of 9.99 babies per thousand of the population and a death rate of 10.01 per, per thousand of the population, which means it's a population balance. Okay, It's minus 0 0.02. So for all intents and purposes, they're balanced out. Japan, on the other hand, has a death rate 9.26, birth rate 7.37. So that's quite a significant uh, negative population uh, natural increase. It's actually a decrease, okay, minus 1.89. Then we have Uganda, and you can already see the, 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 the very significant differences in the numbers here. A birth rate of 48.15 per thousand, a death rate of 12.32. Their natural increase, 35.83, okay? So, this graphic here just shows you some of the key differences. If you want to, pause the video, you can work those out for yourselves and then start to look for the patterns, okay? So, if you are going to do that, pause now because I'm just going to quickly talk about what those patterns are. And we're back. Right, so, if you've worked out the natural increase for each country, you would have ranked them. Now the key pattern that you're going to notice 
countries like Bangladesh, countries like Iraq, countries like Niger are going to have very high natural increase. Okay? The smaller numbers, Germany, Denmark, okay, right down the bottom. So you can start to see the link. What's the difference between those two groups of countries? MEDCs and LEDCs, rich and poor, makes a huge difference to the natural increase rates. So just to summarize um, some of those key terms, which we will find right there. Hopefully you've already know those anyway. You should certainly know those bottom two because we started talking about them way back in year eight. And we're going to very briefly in the next video just start to think about why. What affects those birth rates? Why are birth rates in countries like Uganda so high? Why are death rates in uh, countries like Japan so low?